Hello and welcome back to another torch review. Today I have the Thorfire PF04 pen flashlight or torch in for testing. This is a sample that was sent to me via Thorfire Direct, so I'll give you my honest opinion of the product once we've had a look at all of the included items which are here, including a couple of spare O-rings. Onto the user manual, this lists out the power modes of the torch and we have three for this right down from a super low one lumens up to 210 which is quite high for a torch that runs on two AAA cells. Also got some specifications listed out we have water resistance and it's drop proof and the operation of the torch. Taking a closer look at the body of the torch as you can see it's a quite a thin slim line design on this and we have a satin finish on the outside this is the type 3 hardened anodized aluminium that means it's heat treated so that it resists marking and scratching. The build on this feels pretty good I might have added a little bit more grip onto the barrel section though just unscrewing the head of the torch quite a fine thread on that and insert the two AAA cells positive terminal up I'd recommend getting some decent capacity higher capacity cells for use with this that will increase your run time with the torch just screwing that up and now we'll have a look at the LED this is an XPG2 R5 LED and we can see quite a shallow smooth reflector on this on the back we have a single button and it requires quite a bit of pressure to turn this on and off so it's not going to be accidentally activated. Now operation on this is dead simple you just one press to turn it on and off and then you press again half press to change through the power modes. This torch doesn't have a momentary on function so it's either on or off and just a short press to switch through the three modes but it does have a memory function so that if you power it off and on again it will remember the last setting that you have used. This model is an updated version it's also supposedly got a different switch on the back I haven't used the previous one but evidently that's an improvement that's been made so this is the latest version of the PF04 now comparing it to a pen you can see pretty much the same size a little bit thicker but in terms of length near identical and I have the PF01 here that is a different model from the company and that is a single cell triple A torch you can see slightly different styling and design on that now you can't base stand this but you can put it on the head as I've done here. There is one advantage with the 01PF model and that is if you have the torch on you'll be able to see because it has a uh, uneven finish on the top head part. Quite happy with the quality on this, it feels very solid and robust. Um, the clip could possibly be a little bit stronger it seems okay but I might have added a bit more pressure to that perhaps something a bit beefier but you do get two included o-rings just unscrew it here make sure that you grease this up it is greased from the factory with silicone grease but um, once in a while it doesn't hurt to add a bit yourself the water resistance test in the pint glass here I have and no problems at all I left it in there for half an hour so you shouldn't have any issues with water getting into the torch at all now onto the fire flight or moonlight mode this is very low I'd say it's probably about half a lumen it's one of the lowest that I've seen on a torch so some people like that and looking at the beam pattern we have a bit more punch in the middle but quite a widespread on the outside that's at close range now doing my test outside I've gone into the fire flight which you won't be able to see any distance over about a foot into the medium mode now and then I'll ramp it up to the top setting. You have about three minutes runtime on this due to the size of the head. Um, it will step down to the medium setting afterwards. You can see quite a nice wide beam on this and the brightness level is pretty good too. I'm quite impressed with the output for this particular torch. I'll compare it to the PF01 here. You can see there's quite a big power difference between the two. And at closer range, nice wide beam spread on this. It's less obvious the central area being too much brighter. It is a bit brighter. It does give it a bit more range. And we're on to the PF01, which um, has a much narrower beam pattern than the 4 model. And closer again, we're just at a couple of feet here. We're switching between the two, and I'm on to the PF01. 
quite a difference. As expected, there's two cells powering the 04 model, so that's uh, not unsurprising. And on the medium power setting, there's quite a difference between the two. Quite a big jump with the PF4 from the top setting down to the medium. So the PF01 is actually going to be a bit brighter on the medium setting, but not on the top. Here we are at another angle, wide angle shot. Switching between the two. The last one here, we can see the PF1. Much narrower beam pattern. If it's a choice between the two torches, I would say the 4 would suit you better if you're outside, you need extra power. Though the uh, 1 model is actually okay on the top power setting, it doesn't have the run time of the 4 though, as you'd expect because of the two cells. That does make quite a big difference in terms of the highest output and for the run times as well at all of the power levels. So it's really a choice you could make on this. I tend to use the one inside quite a bit as a spare around the house torch. Overall, wrapping up with the Thorfire PF04, uh, quite a nice torch overall. I like this in most ways. It's a compact form factor. It also has very good power output on the torch and the build is very good too and I like the beam spread particularly at the top setting you get a nice wide beam lights up a good area for the compact size if I were to pick a few areas where I might adjust the design a bit I perhaps would have added a bit more texture to the barrel of the torch just to give you a bit of extra grip and possibly a bit more strength on the clip um, also possibly add an extra power level halfway between the mid and the high settings. But overall, it's a very nice torch. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, please subscribe. I have more torch videos coming as well as other products. And any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.